Next tool on our list is going to be slide tool. So basically what slide does, it's going to allow us, for example, to slide this edge closer to this one while remaining on the same straight line. If we would use move tool for this, so let me just go to move and try to move it down. You'll see that I will need to sort of eyeball it to match that same straight line we had before. So instead we're going to use move tool for that and there are a couple of option, options to activate it. And what's easiest and most common one that we are going to use is via uh, menu, uh, is via um, move tool. And the only thing we need to do is go to shift and control and then just activate the axes where we want to slide it from. So it's basically like that. And now you can see that we have pretty fast just move this edge down without eyeballing it with the move tool. And this also works with the vertices. So if you want to slide vertices, you can slide vertices as well. So slide that doesn't just work with the move setting. It will also work with the rotation and scale. So what I mean by that is just let me create here a couple of cuts and now we can slide this here, maybe this up like so. And basically what we need to do now is straighten this edges that they look exactly the same like this one. So we'll just double click on this edge and go to scale and then just use shift and control and then slide it into position like this. And the same thing is with the rotation. If you now go to uh, shift and control, now we can slide this on a specific rotation. And since we have this angle on, I will just turn it off. So it's more like even slide. All right. Uh, there's a couple of other there are a couple of other options so you can access the sliding. One of them is via transform constraint here. So it's currently to off. If you go to edge slide and select a couple of edges, and now go into move mode, you'll see now that it will slide regardless of uh, do you have your shift and control active. Immediately as you come close to any of the axes, it will just tell you directly slide. So this is one way. Uh, one another way, if you double click on the move tool and go to transform constraints, set to edge, you will see that it will activate here as well. So this is going to be the same thing. The third one is if you go to shift and control, let me just turn this off, shift and control. Actually, I'm sorry, just shift and right click and go to slide edge tool. This time it says drag with middle mouse button to slide and now you can slide it with middle mouse button. But the ones that we're going to use most often is going to be a via move tool and then it's simply shift and control to slide. So that's all that there is to slide tool for now.